the noise down. I said, keep that noise down. Are you deaf? I said, keep that pissing noise down. Off to the nether with her. Was that necessary, dearest? She was causing disharmony in the house. Now, who's next? I found a Mr. Crawley, early fifties, enjoys poetry. Well, any vices? Not really. Then why is he on the list? A passing interest in magic. Magic? What do you mean, like at children's parties? Not exactly. He was the high priest of a cult. I beg your pardon? Well, he only had a few thousand followers, exiled from a country or two, a mild opium addiction. But we all like a tipple, don't we, Mr. God? Speak for yourself. The man's reformed. He's even taken up the dancing. No, I am not convinced, Mrs. God. No, choose a different... Oh, sorry, dearest. Here he is. Bloody hell, woman. Enchanting. Just enough room for a waltz. Oh. Oh. Hot. Good morning. Oh. It's Tony Labyrinth. Oh. Back again with Tony's Labyrinth. Will all the residents please make their way to the lounge for Tony's Tone Up Tuesday? No rest for the weekend. Bouncing. Bopping, skipping, hopping, hopping, popping, I'm not bluffing! Shut it, Tony, you prick! You ready? Give a warm welcome to our new rain, our rainbow, Mr. Crawley! Crawley, it's the triple trouble triplets! Audacious Annie! You look like our granddad, mate! Brilliant Brittany! You wanna buy an e granddad? And Charming Charlie. Last, but no means least, and never ever last, it's the formidable, unchallengeable, non-returnable, Wendy Bicep. Bicep by name, bicep by nature. Don't be a glum, in the fun. <laughs> <laughs> This is going swimmingly. If they keep getting on this well, we should be retiring sooner than I thought. I found us a cruise that seems adequate. 12 months, all inclusive. Budget six by nine cabins, 8 p.m. curfew, no mod cons. Should we wait until Mr. Crawley settles in? Oh, stop fretting, woman. Look, before long, you'll have 365 days alone with me and nothing but the open sea. What? What were you expecting? Your leopard print leotard? You were banished to the nether. Oh, well, seeing as I'm crumpled on your floor like a soiled loincloth, maybe you can guess that I've escaped. What summoned you? I've seen things down below, and you are in grave danger. I am. You need to rediscover the art of black magic. I do? If you don't cast a spell and bewitch this house, you are going to be cast into the nether forever. He's talking to himself. He's having a funny five minutes. Oh, and you'd know all about those, wouldn't you? Don't start getting all worked up, dearest. You know what the doctor said. Oh, codswallop. Isn't it time for your afternoon nap? Oh, is it? Well, it's preferable than listening to you dribbling on, I suppose. Oh, no. 
Do you remember the cat we sacrificed with the dagger of St Lucifer? The little kitty with the little white paws that reminded one of socks. I've still got a pair of them on a key ring somewhere. You're despicable! Says the man who slayed a goat and wore it as a beret. Who lacerated the feet of a hundred pigeons just to flay his own buttocks. My past is nothing more like footprints on the shore. They have washed into the tides of memory. Mm, how poetic. Do you know what they do to poetry in the nether? Recite it. Insert it. You wouldn't last five minutes down there. But I cannot fathom how bewitching this house will save me. Come, have I ever lied to you? Yes. When? In Cairo. You insisted that I fetch your cravat from that tomb. Then you locked me in, smoked all my opium, went to bed with my aunt. Oh, it was a harmless prank. Look, apart from that one incy little time, have I ever lied to you? No. So? Trust me, these numpties will be your mindless disciples before you can say, bugger thy neighbour. <laughs> bugger thy neighbour. <laughs> All right, very funny. Now, let's go and meet your victims. <laughs> Who the hell are they? Oh, look, it's Grandad! Reaper a tenor, Grandad. What are they wearing? Are you going to a seance, perchance? You know what? We're raving with the new ministry, mate! The new ministry? The ministry of Sal, mate! Open it large! What is large at the ministry of the Sal? You're going, going home, home in a cosmic ambience! You're going home in a cosmic ambience! Welcome to Tony's Labyrinth! Come in, turn on, tune in, drop off! <laughs> what do you want? Simply inquiring as to what ventures you're enjoying this fine afternoon. Wendy's doing a workout. Work it, Wendy, work it. Shut your fucking mouth, Tony, or I'll break your fucking knees. <sighs> oh. <sighs> this is a tad awkward. Any ideas? Who are you talking to? Mr. Curtin? Make polite conversation. That drink looks substantial. May I ask what it is? This? Yes. This here? Yes. This what I'm holding here? Mm. Yes. This is a litre of pure muscle. Occupied. Those muscles are grown with bolus testosterone. <laughs> Come here! One, two, three, four. Let's go! This is a madhouse. I concur. Oh, God, it reminds me of Loch Ness. When we bewitched that village and had them can-canning into the lake. That's it. That's the perfect spell. Now, what was it called? The Ninth Trance of the Frenzied Shindig. Here it is. Adorn the headdress of the Order of the Golden Flood, circle the sediment of eons about your congregation, and commit to the chalice eight gonads of bullock semen. But where would we acquire such items? Have you still got that headdress? I donated it to the local Amdram Society. Go and the cosmic ambience. Go and the cosmic We'll pinch the one the Ministry of Sound Girl was wearing. I must admit, they're remarkably similar. <sighs> sediment. What about the sand from the Nutjobs Beach? Now, eight gonads of bullock semen. I can't relive that ordeal. I've not been to a petting zoo since. What about biceps milkshake? May suffice. Chant the sacred incantation of... Oh, the ending's smudged. You can't discern the incantation. Well, that's the least of our worries. First, we need to get all of this stuff. Now, where's your little pouch of hashish? Under the circumstances, I'd rather a clear head. Oh. 
Well, that's lucky. Because the last thing I need is you collapsed on the chaise lounge, stuffing cake down your gullet. I've got a plan. Drugs. Knock. Louder. Oi, oi! Is this hash? So far, mate. Hot knives! Nice one, carpet. See? I can't seem to hear your announcements from my room. Have no fear, Tony's here! Hello? Why, hello there. Sand. Bucket. Right, TV. Try turning it on. might just keep you out of the nether yet. I bought myself some flip-flops. Flip-flops? Well, it's what they wear on holiday, isn't it? I suppose so, dearish. Well, I'll leave them on my suitcase and you can pack them in a minute. What's the hurry? Oh, didn't I tell you? Oh, we got a great deal on the bunk room. We're right next to the engine, so it was cheap as chips. We sell tomorrow. That soon? Well, why wait? The residents are in harmony, aren't they? I suppose so, dearest. They're getting along like a house on fire. You're supposed to be trying to remember the incantation, not the passadoble. How did they break us to show cowboy singing, fun slinging, Tony Tutor Lovers here? <laughs> 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 Coming up today, it's that fab time of the week time. Oh, Tony's turn up Tuesday. <sighs> Did you hear that? Yes, I'm quite looking forward to some exercise. <laughs> the only thing you'll be exercising is the dark arts. Look, I don't have the time or the crayons to explain this to you, but tonight, you cast the ninth trance of the frenzied chindic. Welcome to our all new inside view. It's Tony's interview. Today, my special guest is Mr. Crowley. Question one. Are you a pina colada or a tequila sunrise? Pina colada? Correct. Question two. Are you a night owl or a barn owl? Night owl. Good. Question three. Are you a pop picker or a 
Grave Digger. Pop Picker. And wrong. Well, two out of three is not bad. I profess I have a question. May I replace this week's Turn Up Tuesday with a lesson in the art of dance? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I am replacing this week's Turn Up Tuesday with a lesson in the art of dance. <laughs> Correct! The button has spoken. Gather all at midnight. Join me for an evening of mutation, damnation, And Samba. Join me tonight. The Great Beast. What did he say? Something about a great feast. Didn't sound like that to me. Oh, don't get yourself in a tears, Mr. God. Have you taken your pills? You forgot to remind me, didn't you? Shall I get them? You're not after last time. <laughs> you nearly gave me enough to bump off an horse. No, you sit there, woman. I'll do all the bloody work. I what? Mm-hmm. Any luck deciphering the incantation? No. <sighs> Wasn't it like... Uh, doth thine... something. I what? What now? What should we do with them once they're bewitched? And can come out the window for old time's sake? <laughs> <sighs> I would. Yes? I've missed you. <laughs> I've missed you too. <sighs> Hello? I just called to say I've missed you. Really? No, you twat! I'm... Sick of the sight of you! Why have I been watching an old tart flirting instead of an evil cult leader causing pandemonium? Look, Crawley knows what he's doing. He can't remember the incantation. What's he going to recite? Humpty Dumpty? He'll get there. Oh, that's lucky. Because if he doesn't, the residents are going to be floating around like happy little cherubs on a cloud of harmony. <laughs> And if there's harmony, what use is there for gods? Right. And if there's no use for gods, where do all the gods go? We, I'll I... tell you where they go. They go on bloody cruises! <laughs> and if you think I'm going to be stuck in a six by nine cabin with that stinking old fart, you'll be fox trotting with right. Crawley straight I... back down the nether. But you said I could stay. New deal. Cast a spell, or you're both damned. Best of luck for this evening, dearest. Break a leg. Three steps to folding paper, followed by a kick, a file, a single file. I what? You drifted into the lustral light. You need to get a fucking move on.
Why is it on so bloody late? I wouldn't know, dearest. All right, let's get on with it. <laughs> Be bored in an hour. A big thank you to all you moonwalkers for attending our midnight special. Don't get in a fluster. Let's switch our thruster with Mr. Crowley. Looking fresh, geezer. Sick friends, mate. Who's he? You look like a nonce. I fear I may not be capable of this. Ah! There's something I've not told you. If you don't do this, we both go to the nether. Pardon? Just get on with it, nonce. She's got a point. Come forth, neophytes, and form assembly. Thou art to embark on a voyage into the deepest recesses of thine soul. Thou will be edified, enlightened, and transformed henceforth unto eternity! Well, the man clearly enjoys a tango. Circle the sediment of eons about your congregation. We shall commence with the hallowed sucker! Nay, being shall exit the circle. Nor shall the circle become broken. Behold that... What the hell are you doing? Don't stress, I am cleaning this mess. This is the strangest dance class I've ever seen. The circle is sacrosanct. That is banging me. Proper filth! I'm going home in a course, mate. <laughs> Who would steal the sacramental potion? Have it in Lord! What is this twaddle? They're clubbing. You'd know that if you'd ever taken me out. Start the incantation! What is it? What's the first thing that comes into your head? Doth, 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 cometh, doth thine daughter. Tis donger night, so feeleth thy magic beat. Thine devils danceth in the street. The man is trying to bewitch him. Job. <laughs> Kneel and doth thine daughter obey us! Get your filthy hands off him, nuts! <laughs> you want to dance? I'll learn ya. Oh, help me, I want! Uh, one step, two step, three walk, <laughs> Everybody leave in a single fire! Three step. Followed by a kick, a single file. Come and join the conga. Proper dancing. You always liked this one, didn't you? Grabbing hold of the young girls in front. I beg your pardon. You heard. Come on, everybody. You better hang on tight. Maybe I am the great beast. Uh. 
turn to talk. I've had 50 long years of doing whatever you tell me. I've cooked every meal, and every shirt, and scrubbed every skid mark out of your stinking Y-fronts. Now you're going to do what I say. Get up. Turn around. Slap your ass. Piss off to room 13. <laughs> oh. Mrs. God. I am locked in. Are you deaf, woman? Let me Make yourself at home, I want. Oh. <gasps> Welcome to the house of God! <laughs> <laughs> Good boy, I'm so sick of it. Shut it, Tony. Hurry, 